I got my first sponsorship offer yesterday in the email and I was super happy, super pumped out because obviously I am a small channel and that means more money, right? We all love money, we all love making content and being able to make more profit out of that. But then it turned out to be scam. The usual phishing scam where they try to steal your channel and if you download those files that they send, you will probably lose everything in your Google account and access to it. If you are a big channel like Linux Tech Tip, you will recover it. If you are a small channel, I assure you, you are fucked. You just lost all your progress and your channel and you will have to start from scratch. Now, I worked as a freelancer for five, six years as a programmer, and I learned how to deal with scammers and with shitty clients. I started earning really bad money for websites, and then I moved up, up the ladder little by little. So today, we're gonna go over this email, and then we're going to be checking some red flags you should be looking out for if you are a content creator and get an email like this. So let's just get into this, and let's go to the first one. Now, first thing, and this is important, Google is smarter than you and than me. If they say, hey, this looks like a phishing scam, you delete that email. It's a phishing scam. There is absolutely no chance that the legit company will go into your spam folder and will have a phishing scam alert. There's absolutely no way. So that's the first red flag. And I saw it and I was like, yeah, this is a scam, but let's answer him and let's see what they want. So they started by saying, good afternoon. We would like to advertise our mobile game World and Heroes. Second thing, if you see bad English and that they are not spelling their game even properly, it's a scam. The game is called World End Heroes and it's a game by Square Enix. If a Square Enix were to contact you, you send a random email called edwardadvertising at gmail.com. <laughs> you should never download the file or open a link that they sent. So he was like, we have this game and we're willing to pay for every integration you make in your videos. And I was like, damn, that's a lot of money, right? And I was like, hey, can you give me more details about the game? How much are you guys paying for the sponsor? Would it be a first impression video or just a 30 second ad integration? Cheers, Carlos. Then they go back to me and they were like, we are willing to pay you $200 for each future integration. If you have a small channel and someone comes along and tells you, hey, if you make 10 videos, we will pay you $200 for every single video, they are lying to you. If you are a small channel and you only get maybe one sponsor per month, maybe two, maybe you don't get any and it's your first one. If it seems too good to be true, be careful and make sure you do your due diligence and investigate everything. So we are interested in a two minute integration of our game at the beginning of your videos. We are ready to provide you with all the necessary videos and text for integration. Sure, I'm interested. Can you give me more information about the game? Because the first time he ignored me. And he was like, hey, World of Heroes is a free-to-play mobile game developed by Square Enix for iOS and Android devices. It was released in Japan in 2019. Now, as I was saying, if a Square Enix contacts you with a fucking random email, that's not a Square Enix. Make sure the emails you are getting, it's an email from a company that it's using that domain. Most companies use customized emails and domains because it's not cheap. Nowadays, it's like less than five bucks a month if you are using Google Suite. If it's a really small indie team, they might contact you with a normal email, but 90% of the times, it should have a custom domain. So they were like, that's our game, World End Heroes, blah, blah, blah. And I said, hey, all good on my end if it's an integration at the start of my video. What's the price? A couple more questions. The most recent news I can find about the game point when EOS three years ago for the global version, and I can find the game anywhere else. Can you share some links on the current version? What's the payment method? Is there any contract or NDA that you need signed? Is there a specific date that you need the video integration done by now all of these questions they need to say this before you even start talking about the fucking price and everything if the company comes to you they will come out they will say we want the video done by this date we pay this much this is the contract or the nda if there's any and this is what we are paying most companies will not come to you and will be like yeah we pay this much here is a sip download it please so you can start working on the video it's like no so he got back to me like oh it's very strange you can find information about our gaming but we have an official website that has all the information there's a link there now you should never click links i will repeat this never i don't care if it's an email from your mom or for a company never click links on your main computer where you can lose all your personal information it's really important and people don't take digital security like as a real threat but it's something that's that will fuck you up nowadays all our lives are tied to one google account or whatever you use and if you lose that it's gonna be really hard to get it back so that said he said most of our clients prefer to be paid via paypal yes we have a contract we need it to report to our company and we need it to get the money for your payout. We would like to see our game in your future video. He didn't ask how often I uploaded videos. He's just like, the next video you make, we need the integration there. Like, I make one or two videos a day, right? You're paying me for every integration? I'm gonna make 10 videos for you. Obviously, for a smart content creator, this sounds super good. But again, if it sounds too good to be true, it's not. So I got back into here with two emails. So first of all, I sent him, PayPal works for me. Could you send the contract over and the text of what I need to see about the game so I can make sure it aligns 
clients with my channel. Also, after the contract is signed and we are ready to start working, I usually work on a 50-50 payment schedule. 50% upfront and 50% after the bid is done and uploaded. If you're a small content creator, never work without an upfront payment. I don't care who the company is. I don't care how much they're paying. You're a small content creator. You are the one losing your time and you are the one that can be screwed up. When you are a big content creator or you have an agency that's doing those things for you, yeah, it's fine not working without a, a, an upfront payment. But if you are a small guy, don't have a lot of subs, a lot of views, and you're getting some sponsorship offers, always ask for a percentage upfront. It's really important. On freelancing, this is important and you need to take your YouTube channel as a business. This is a business if you want to take sponsorships, this is no longer a hobby. So I said that and I was like, hope that works for you. Cheers. After that, he sent me two emails like, hey, something was shared with you on Drive, right? And it's a zip. There's no chance I'm downloading this. I deleted this from my shared files in Google Drive. And once again, <laughs> you should never download a zip. So I got back to him and I was like, hey, Edward, I got the zip. Do you have the contract and material on a doc file directly so I can check that first? Also, are you all right with the payment methods I sent in the previous email? That was 17 hours ago and he will be never responding. Now, once again, it's really important that you don't open random files. You open a Google Doc on the cloud. That's good. A Google Doc is almost impossible that it will have any type of viruses as long as you don't click on fucking random links. If you get the notification that someone shares a Google Doc, Google is the one making sure that's a legit Google document. So I would recommend always getting a doc for the NDA, for the contract or whatever you need to sign, and also for whatever you need to say in the video or the conditions. If we talk about payments, like I said previously, you are a small guy, you don't have an agency or someone managing your deals, you should ask for an upfront payment. I recommend 50%. I understand if you're a small guy, you might be uncomfortable doing that. Ask for at least 20 or 30%. Like, I don't care. Even if it's just a small sum, just ask for something upfront so you know they are serious about working with you. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video to profit from this asshole and to also warn you guys. Super short video. We'll go back to our normal Nikkei and mobile games later. So yeah, remember, stay free to play and see you on the next one.